Get ready with me while I talk about dangerous, fear-mongering, discriminatory headlines that talk about Ozempic. We've all seen the headlines warning about Ozempic face, Ozempic butt, and even Ozempic ring finger, meaning people are complaining about needing their wedding rings resized. I don't know. But this headline from the weekend really takes the cake. Lisa Marie Presley's death should be weight loss, Ozempic warning. Here's how it killed her. Now you probably read that in title and said, oh my God, Ozempic killed Lisa Marie Presley? Not so fast. In fact, the coroner's report, which I haven't been able to read in full, does mention that she died from something called small bowel obstruction. And it appears that years ago, Lisa Marie Presley had some sort of abdominal surgery and they specifically named a bariatric surgery. Of note, they also found therapeutic medicinal levels of opioids in her system. Now, if you watch the video in full, you'll see that there was no evidence that Lisa Marie Presley was an Ozempic, but the plastic surgeon, Terry Dubrow, who I love me some housewives, but that's beside the point, he decides to say that people need to be uh, warned about the dangers of all weight loss surgeries and drugs. Any abdominal surgery puts you at risk for potentially, very low risk, for potentially developing scar tissue. Now, scar tissue in the abdomen gives you generally lots of signs and symptoms that something is going wrong. But if you ignore these signs and symptoms, you can develop ischemic bowel and a dead tissue within your body can kill you. But this is not gastric surgery. And this is most definitely not Ozempic because the coroner said nothing about that. So why we're even bringing this in, I don't know. But I probably think that lots of people are interested in these drugs. And if we can put Ozempic in a headline, maybe we can get more people to click through. And here's the deal. I've just noticed so much fat bias in the reporting of these medications. Even the fact that we're using Ozempic to describe a class of medications that has been approved for obesity medicine. Really, as a society, we don't want to admit that obesity is a disease. For the privileged few of people, um, remember 75% of our country suffers from overweight or obesity at this point. For the privileged few who don't struggle with their weight, they really want to think that they've done something right. And yes, while there might be lifestyle and food and behavior choices that we can all do better, we know that obesity is a disease and really once it gets started, it is hard to stop on your own. Remember, obesity is not only a disease, it causes disease. So if we can get ahead of it early on or treat even years down after the fact, we can help you be healthier. Uh, obesity is linked to the development of 18 cancers, heart disease, type two diabetes, um, joint pains, back pains, all sorts of things that bother people, take them out of the workforce, um, make them ill before their time. And yeah, everything in medicine, everything in life has risks and benefits. There is a risk to getting into your car. We reduce that risk by putting on a seatbelt and the benefit to us is that we can get anywhere. And is it really a risk to have a Ozempic butt or need to resize your rings? No. The benefit is huge, though. It gives people back their lives and their future healthy lives. But these headlines are hard to ignore, even for my patients who have lost 100 pounds and been on these medications for years with no ill outcomes, and they know how much this is helping them but it's really hard to not feel it. So if you have been on these meds, seen these headlines, were thinking about the meds, saw the headlines, drop your concerns below. I wanna answer all of your questions about the side effects, the real ones, and any contraindications, not some made up headline grabbing fluff.